everybody, it's Richard Cahill at TypicalMacUser.com, and this is the third part in me souping up that MacBook Pro 13-inch. I'm here with Arnie Ramirez of MCE Technologies, and uh, this is going to be the part I've been kind of looking forward to. I've put the 8 gigs of RAM in this machine. I've got the 200 gig SSD. It's screaming already, but now I've got this leftover 320 gig 7200 RPM drive. What do I do with it? That's where OptiBay comes in, and this is where you come in. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Great. Tell us a little bit about uh, your process, your your company, first of all, because I want to hear you know you do many more things than just OptiBay. But tell us about the OptiBay in general, what we're going to do today. Okay. Well, the OptiBay was a product that uh, came out of, its roots came from the fact that we used to provide hard drive, uh, hard drives for the older PowerBooks, the PowerBook G3s, which in those days, you used to be able to remove your optical drive, remove your battery, pop in hard drives or you know swap a bunch of stuff and it was it was really flexible but in 2001 Apple came out with the titanium and everything was encased and closed you couldn't do that anymore and you can't get in here this is Apple <laughs> that's right you're stuck with your optical drive and that's it and you're gonna love it so um, at any rate um, a few years later uh, we got a lot of you know people indicating that they would still like to have the ability to put another hard drive in their machine and have two hard drives and and as the digital age came about with iTunes and all this other stuff, people started using their optical drives less and less and less. So we decided, you know, the market is there now. And in 2006, we developed a, uh, a solution where you could remove your optical drive and insert uh, the hard drive. And that's why we call it an OptiBay because it's going into your optical drive bay, and that's where the name comes from. Um, so that started in 2006, and as a do-it-yourself kit as well, we have a, a service where you can send your laptop into us and, and take care of that. And um, at any rate, uh, it started slow in 2006. Not everybody was still, you know, you know figured that that was going to be a solution that they were going to want to do. But uh, as time went on and, and as the digital age grew even more so, people were just like, I would much rather have the ability to contain all my movies, or my videos, or my music, uh, internal into my machine and be able to take it everywhere instead of carrying around extra hard drives and, and things like that. So uh, I'd say over the last two years, it's really exploded in terms of the popularity of this uh, of our solution. So Yeah, really a sexy thing. I mean, being able to have this SSD and then being able to have extra storage in the machine put with the, op with the, with the, with the uh, DVD drive was that I'm not using. So this is just an ideal solution. Couple of questions for you. The first one needs has to do with throughput. Uh, I know that we're gonna be showing exactly how you go about installing one of these. Do you lose anything by using um, the DVD drive at, you know, connector or is the throughput just the same as it would be for a hard drive? You know, beautifully, um, with the unibody machines, the, set, the optical drive is now a SATA optical drive, and so you're at your throughput is actually identical. You're getting the full three gigabits per second as you would in the main drive base. So, you know, and it's two separate SATA buses. It's not even on the same SATA bus, so you're not even sharing anything. You're getting wow. full blown throughput. <clears throat> a lot of people are even RAID zeroing their oh. drives, which is a little crazy, but you know, <laughs> I would assume they're backing up all the time, right, people? You're backing up all the time. Yeah, back up, back up, back up, um, everybody. But uh, I mean, they're getting amazing speeds with that, as well as with SSDs. So yeah, yeah. I mean, this machine is just going to be so souped up, and <clears> I think this is great. Now, you guys provide much more than just the OptiBay service. Just a quick rundown of the other things that you have within the MCE Technologies website. Okay, yeah. Um, another really popular product of ours is the um, is the Blu-ray drives, and we sell Blu-ray drives uh, for Mac Pros, and we also have an external version uh, that can be used on iMacs and, and the laptops, but. Um, a lot of people, with the advent of uh, Adobe Premiere Pro a few years back, included Blu-ray authoring on their Mac version. Um, so that became a market that we entered with internal Blu-ray drives. Unfortunately, still on the Mac side, you can't play back Blu-ray uh, movies, but you can author them. Kind of interesting, a little bit ironic there. But um, And now with Toast 10 Titanium Pro, you can author. And with the latest version of Final Cut Pro, uh, you can actually author Blu-ray. Let's make sure everybody knows exactly where they can find your website. Okay. The website is uh, www.mcetech.com. That's M-C-E-T-E-C-H.com. Cool. Now, before we go do this, you guys, I want to ask one more question around service. One of my concerns is I bought this thing mid last year, and it's you know obviously still under Apple Care. I want to make sure that we are just 
full disclosure here that when you do some of this stuff, you may run into a situation where you take one of these things into an Apple store, and unless you put things back the way they were, and it's not going to be hard to do, you're going to see already do this, uh, you may run into a situation where Apple says, you know, uh, we can't do this, or this is not going to be covered. So a couple of hints here. First one is, uh, I think, Get to know your local authorized Apple uh, retailer that is not maybe the Apple Store, right? That, that's a, oh, that's a good nice. way to do it. Uh, any experience from your user base, and I know you guys, it's quite a big. <coughs> am I uh, spreading FUD here, or is this something that people need to be concerned with? No, I mean, um, in general, uh, rule of thumb would definitely be, you know, to be as conservative as, as possible if you have an, an issue with your laptop. Um, put your super drive back in, you know, so that you, you have the, as much a, as an original configuration as possible when you take it back to Apple. Um, there may be a situation, we haven't heard of a situation where Apple has denied coverage due to an Optibay being there, but, you know, why play with fire if you have your super drive ready to go? It's about a 15 minute, you know, swap out, just do it. Just do it. All right. We're going to cover one more thing here before we get going in there and get this thing done is pricing. What is the price of the Optibay? Um, typical user, how long is it going to take them to install? And then the reason for this video, these guys are in Anaheim pretty close to me. I wanted to see how they put one in because they offer that as a service. So let's cover some pricing for people and then we'll get going and make this thing happen. Okay, absolutely. Um, so the basic Optibay unit uh, is $99 and that would be for the kit itself, as well as an enclosure for the super drive that you come out, uh, or that comes out of the machine, and uh, and that's if you're going to use it with your own two and a half inch SATA hard drive. Um, now we do have the Optibase available with drives already in them. Up to right now we have up to 750 gigabytes for the unibody machines, and those range up to about 249 for that one. Now as far as the installation. We have the service where you can send your laptop to us so that we can do it ourselves here. Um, and that's generally around $99. Okay. Uh, now, is that anywhere in the world, and how long does it take to make that happen? That's domestic, and it generally will um, is about a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. And it doesn't include shipping back to you. That's going to depend on what shipping method you, re you prefer. And if you're local, and there, you know, there's factors there, but you know, it's, gonna, it's pretty reasonable. Okay, you guys, so there it is. A lot of options. You can do it yourself. It's easy enough to do. I wanted Artie to do it just so that you guys can get the idea. Again, full disclosure for everybody, I am doing this video. They're not a sponsor of mine. However, I will be getting an Optibay in the equivalent of the service for free. So I need to disclose that these days where full disclosure is so important. So, hey, let's get going. Let's make this thing happen and show people uh, your product and just how easy it is to install. Okay, let's do it. All right, Artie, it looks like we're ready to go here. Why don't you explain to us what we're looking at left to right? Okay, very good. Um, left to right, we're looking at uh, the actual internal hard drive that you remove from your machine and have replaced it with an SSD. So you've got that extra, and that's what's going to go into your optical bay slot or area using the OptiBay. Now, there's the OptiBay itself, which is um, the actual enclosure that is in the same form as your super drive that, that's going to come out of there and that's going to accept your drive and it's going to be able to allow you to use that inside of your, your uh, MacBook Pro. I like it, it's shiny. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, above that is the tool that we provide so that you can actually do the install completely on your own, you know, without it having to go run to any stores or anything to buy any other tools or anything. So um, when you get the OptiBay uh, via FedEx, you, you know, you're going to have everything you need to do it yourself. Then there's the CD that we provide, which includes the instructional manual on how to install it into your MacBook Pro. You know, you want to pop that into your SuperDrive first and have a look at it and or print it out. Uh, you know, we're going green, so, you know, um, so you can do that. That CD also contains software that we developed so that you can still use Apple's DVD player uh, with your external or your now external SuperDrive because... Once you take that super drive out, DVD player will not launch. It, it looks to make sure there's an internal super drive in your machine just to even launch. But with our software that we've provided, uh, we allow DVD player to be used with an external drive, so you'll still be able to, to watch DVDs and everything. Burning uh, will still take place without having you know any software at all. That's, that's all uh, part of the OS. And you'll still be able to do that with the external drive. Um, the last part. Uh, on the far right there is the actual enclosure we provide for your SuperDrive uh, along with the cables and that.